Thank you very much. I don't have any notes. I don't have anything. I'm up here all by myself with all the fake news back there. And you know, if you make a little mistake, do you think Biden would get up here without notes? In fact, if he had notes, it doesn't make any difference. <laughs> anyway, so I just want to thank you all. This is incredible. These are our friends. These are the people that are going to really help us on that very special evening coming up in 45 days, right? 45 days. And we're going to do something that uh, I think it's the most important election in the history of our country. I used to say that about 2016, but this will be the most important election in the history of our country because our country is going to hell. It's going to hell rapidly. It's not taking long. In fact, it's hard to uh, say this because it's such a negative thought, but one year is a very long time. Uh, we're actually now even a little less than a year, but that's a very long time. The kind of destruction that they've been doing to our country is is just not acceptable. It's not acceptable. They're destroying America. They're destroying our land, our everything. They're, anything having to do with us, they're destroying open borders, high interest rates, high taxes. And nobody's ever seen anything like that. The Afghanistan surrender, what they did there. People forget, you know, the fake news doesn't like talking about that because it's negative. They only want to talk about positive, but they can't find anything to talk about because there is no positive. There hasn't been a positive thing happen in this administration since it came about with a rigged election three years ago. There hasn't been, there hasn't been, there hasn't been a positive thing. If you look back and you want to try and uh, figure out what's going on. There hasn't been one positive thing, I don't think, that's happened to our country in, uh, and I have to tell you, Jimmy Carter, as you know, uh, our first lady went to the funeral of Rosalind Carter. It was a beautiful event, by the way, and everybody was very nice, so really nice, but uh, Jimmy Carter is, uh, in his latter years, 99, in his latter years, he's got to be a happy man because his administration was brilliant compared to what we have now. Brilliant. If you look at his administration, he's considered now a brilliant, brilliant president by comparison to what we have now. Look, if you took the, and, and you could look at it anyway, I used to say if you took the five worst presidents, I could probably say a lot more than that, like 15, 20, but let's be conservative. Let's say 10. If you took the 10 worst presidents, in the history of our country and added them together, they would not have done the destruction to our country as this man and this group of people have done, because it's not just this man. This is far beyond this man. This, I don't know if this man knows what's happening. But uh, there's a group of people that have done great damage to our country, and uh, we have to win. This is the most important. We have to win. We have to get out.